Coming up on Around Kern County, we're celebrating Veterans Day by honoring our employees who served our country. Get to know some of these outstanding members of our workforce and what Veterans Day means to them when Around Kern County starts now. Welcome to this week's special episode of Around Kern County. I'm your host, Ali Soper. This week, we celebrate Veterans Day, a federal holiday designed to honor the brave men and women who served our country. Here in Kern County, you don't have to look far to see celebrating our veterans is something that spans all year. From the banner hanging in our airport to the signs on the side of our roads, Kern County is truly a place where we honor veterans. Today's show is about some of these very people who make up the fabric of our community and the values that we share. Here at the county, our workforce is nearly 8,000 public servants who together provide essential services to our residents to keep them healthy and safe. You may not realize many of our employees who serve our community today actually spent years prior defending our freedom in service of our country. Let's meet some of them right now. I served in the Army. Four years in the United States Marine Corps. I was in the Army. I used to be active duty Army, now I'm currently an Army Reservist. I spent five years in the United States Marine Corps. I was in the United States Marine Corps. I went into the uh, Army. Then Switched over to Navy, went to Navy, back to Army. Served in the Navy. Joined the Army, 1st Infantry Division. I remember playing with my G.I. Joes and just remembering, looking at soldiers and Marines and airmen that that's what I wanted to be. That's something I wanted to aspire to. Let me do that. Let me be part of something greater than myself. I have a history of uh, military family members uh, from my grandfather in World War II and my father. Myself being something that's like in our bloodline, is, is it stopped at my father, so I figured I want to continue on. My daughter actually signed up for the military as well just recently, so I'm kind of pretty proud of that. I had wanted to join when I was 15, um, although my dad kept talking me out of it. <laughs> but by the time I was 21, I was living on my own, and I, had, I wanted to join, and I wanted the GI Bill. so. I finally just did it. I originally joined the Navy for the adventure, you know, there was that desire to serve, but also the the whole adventure part of it was big and uh, it was good for me. It was, uh, it was a good four years. I wanted to serve my country while at the same time giving myself the benefit for the future with my education. Often many opportunities that you can have to learn skills that transition into the civilian life. There are relatable things from the military and serving in government that uh, we take uh, as a normal daily um, aspect of our job. It's serving others. It's service above self. I wanted to make sure I honored um, a lot of the traditions and I, I wanted to make sure that you know I was um, you know giving back because uh, my, my dad's side of the family um, Two of his uncles served in the 442nd during World War II, and my mom's uncles and her father served in, in World War II also. I did come to the county specifically because I, I wanted to serve my community. I wanted to, to continue to serve in, in a way, you know, um, in a community for the people type of thing. Giving back to the community, supporting the community, and being, you know, since I was raised here in Kern County, giving back to the people who live here in Kern County. I think this is true with all branches of the, of the military. They're really big on service. So even when you're serving in the military, they want you to be volunteering. They want you to be doing all this other extracurricular stuff. Uh, my primary uh, occupational specialty was motor transportation. I was attached to an artillery unit out there. I did a couple of tours in Iraq. Um, was able to come home to my kids. As a veteran, I was, you know, got educated, was able to use some of the benefits of being a veteran um, and you know now I'm here at Kern County Child Support been here for the last little bit over three years now it, it means everything it means that I'm able to to help people and that's primarily what I'm, I'm here to do I'm here to 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 move cases forward to you know make sure these families are you know being educated uh, make sure uh, if they need assistance with employment and I'm I'm the one that's going to be able to help them with that 
I was actually an avionics technician in the Marine Corps, so I worked on the Hueys and Cobras aircraft. I worked on all the ele electrical and wiring of the aircraft. And I was primarily stationed out of Camp Pendleton. I went to a few other places, but primarily my main duty station was Camp Pendleton. Here with the county, I am a traffic signal technician. I work with all of the intersections that the county oversees. I've always been somebody that values the work that I do and I like my work to make some sort of a difference. So actually working where my work makes a difference to people, everyday people going about their business is actually very important to me. I feel like I give the community a sense of safety. Obviously, traffic signals are one of those things that we get annoyed by, we get irritated by them, but at the end of the day, they provide a very essential service for our community. And if, we, if all the service, all the traffic signals were to break down, traffic would be utter chaos, <laughs> and that would not be okay for anybody. I enlisted in May 1998, but I left January 99, so I was in delayed entry for a while. And um, left, for, uh, left for boot camp in the winter, Great Lakes, Illinois, snow and, snow and everything. In fact, the day that I left for boot camp is the day that it snowed here in Bakersfield. And so I missed all that snow here in Bakersfield, that never happens. My first duty station was on, on the border at Naval Air Facility El Centro. Um, prior to that, I went to school um, at Naval Air Station Meridian, Mississippi for training. I was an aviation maintenance administration, and that's just a long title for aircraft maintenance clerical work. Or when 9-11 happened, I got activated that night. So um, that night I was on 12-hour shifts up until I transferred two months later. I was in the United States Marine Corps. Uh, I was a non-commissioned officer there almost uh, six years. Five years, 11 months, 23 days. Um, I did a lot of things, I guess. So I was what they call an administrator, which can be assigned to any unit in the Marines. So uh, me specifically, I was assigned to the Marine Corps Recruit Depot, Paris Island, South Carolina. The one thing you learn, I'll say this as being a veteran, is a sense of duty. That sense of duty that you have here when you come to work for the county or any government organization, it's almost required of you. And so um, if you get put you know, through uh, the training that we do in the military and you overcome that, everything else uh, appears easy. So now after almost 20 years of being in operations as a patrolman and a detective, I get to work in the property room that takes in the evidence and all over the county. So we have everything that comes through, narcotics, guns, money, I signed up when I was a junior in high school over the summer. I left as soon as I graduated two days later. I served from 2005 until 2012 on active duty and an additional two in the reserves. I deployed once to Iraq for 15 months, part of the last surge, and spent most of it in Germany. And then I came to, back to the States and finished out my uh, obligation. Some of the skills translate well. It's dedication to doing something, loyalty to something, integrity to keep going. And I believe the county has those values and it just helps enforce them. And then just working with other veterans here within the county, regardless if it's behavioral health or the county as a entity itself, it's that connection that's already made. It helped me realize that there's always a need to help someone somewhere and that there's resources out there that we just have to look for to access them. So in the county, as a full partnership team like I am here, just gotta reach out and ask. Nothing is out of the reach that can be done for our population. So you know you have those people that have served their country, now they're serving the community, if they're serving Kern County, supporting the community. They support you to do what you're doing, and it's reverse. We support them, help them get back to where they need to be. My military career started way back when, in the early, uh, late 70s. I did 30 years. I finished there uh, as an aviation uh, senior crew chief on a Black Hawk helicopter and mechanic. I went to Baghdad. We were in Kuwait, did some stuff in Iraq, uh, in Iraq and then uh, Afghanistan, and then back. And then I had done some special missions with the border and other places around the United States and now the country. Growing up, I didn't have the best upbringing. Um, I was actually homeless at 14, and I took myself through high school, you know, in and out of the juvie system. I went to the Air Force, they kind of laughed at my background and said no, and the Army says, come on in, we got you. Uh, so that was in 2002, I was 22, 
September 11, 2002 is actually the day that I signed all the papers and knew what I was getting myself into, but I also am aware enough that I needed that. I needed that discipline. Uh, got deployed to Iraq in 2003, 2004-ish for the invasion of Fallujah. So that was interesting times. We were there for 14 months. It's definitely changed my life for the best. So as a job developer with JobFest, um, we try to make a connection between the employers that are hiring and have open positions and then the job seekers. I have a lot of family members that served in the military. Uh, my grandfather served in the Army during World War II. My grandmother served in the Navy during World War II, aunts and uncles. Um, and so being a veteran myself just kind of carried on a lot of tradition. Well, my job as a video producer uh, is pretty far outside of what I did in the military. So I was a military police and uh, I'd been overseas my entire enlistment. But you learn a lot of soft skills in the military. You learn organization, attention to detail, working with people, and all those soft skills certainly carry over. I've been out of the military for years and now that I'm with the county, I still feel that, that sense of service and that attitude and I still look for ways that I can maximize the amount of service I'm giving. One of my favorite things about my job with the county has just been all the people I've been able to work with, all the friendships I've made over the years, and the, the chance to feel like I'm really involved in doing something. Well, my history with the military was I joined um, in 2005. I wanted to find a way to pay for college, and so I did. Uh, I left, I was actually born and raised in New Jersey, and left for the military, went into the Navy, went from New Jersey to Virginia Beach, then I went to Japan, and then I ended up in Lemoore. During that time period also met a lovely young lady who was born and raised in Bakersfield, and that's the reason why I've ended up in Bakersfield and Kern County. Um, while I was in the military, I was an airframe structural mechanic, so I worked on F-18s. I smelled like hide fluid and jet fuel. I was active duty, uh, Army Airborne Paratrooper. Um, I then got out and joined the National Guard after 9-11, and I served two tours in Iraq as an Army mechanic. Well, I just feel that it's, uh, you know, we all need to give back, you know, give back to serve, uh, you know, do more for, for others, and that's just, I think it's, it's more joy to, to, to give, you know, and that, in a way, it, it, it fills my heart to do that. I mean, I've definitely felt at home with, with, you know, with the county. I mean, they've, you know, whatever they've offered as far as the different jobs and, and you know, insurance and everything that they've provided, uh, the pay, I mean, it's, it's, been, it's been a good home, and I would recommend it to anyone, any veteran. Well, as a departmental aide, I kind of, here at the Southwest, we kind of do a little bit of everything. Um, I help people with uh, book requests. I, I do shipments and returns, check-ins. Um, and also, I help a lot of people with our resources. You know, the library has tons of resources from job search to just general um, resources like faxing, computer usage. Uh, printing, um, but there's a ton of other things that they use a library for. I was on uh, active duty for four years and then also um, about a year I was uh, activated as a, re as a reservist. I did serve in Iraq for about 14 months. It wasn't in a combat arms unit, it was technology support there too. I was fortunate and really lucky and really thankful to gain a lot of technical skills while in the Army. Uh, when I got out of the Army, I I was working a couple of tech jobs, and um, when I was in the second one, I got an interview for county council as a senior information system specialist. So I'm entering my 14th year of uh, county service. I'm really thankful for working with the county. There's not just um, for for as a career path, but there's I've made lots of friends. I feel like I've developed more as a person, and just the the challenges and the uh, opportunity for growth is is just uh, a real gift. In the military, we got through so much qualifications and knowledge through uh, what disciplinary is, what um, a lot of things that kind of implement and everything that are basically helping people. For the county of Kern, I've noticed that it expands its help towards the community a lot, um, and I see it a lot of. Uh, veterans out there that are in need, that don't have resources, that don't know, or some even some family members who are like, well, this is what's going on. We don't, you know, we don't know where to go. So 
thinking about that and keeping that in mind, um, that's what I seen an opportunity and I took it. So um, it's pretty much why I did it, just to extend my knowledge and be able to have resources to help people and be able to change one life at a time. Being a new eligibility worker on top of becoming a veteran, it's just, it just works hand in hand. Being in this role, working in the sheriff's office, uh, being a veteran, um, it's really the best thing you can do in life um, to continue to serve, to um, have the rewards that this job has given me, um, and then to turn that into a career. Um, again, I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. I can't see myself leaving. That's probably the most hardest reality to deal with if I were ever having to do that. But um, I can see myself being here until I can no longer be on this planet. When I see older veterans and they show up every year, whether it's a parade, um, whether they, you know, come up to you and tell you a story if they find out, especially Marines, we have a, a bond because our uh, birthday is the day before Veterans Day. Specifically, it means a lot to me for other reasons. Um, November 11th was the day that I became a Marine. It's when I graduated boot camp. It's also the day I got married. I really like the, st the structure and knowing that I'm able to, to help families because I mean, right where you're sitting, you know, we're in, we're in my interview booth, I used to be a customer as well. Uh, so I, I, I take every single family that I help very seriously because I was once there as well. County has been a great place. Um, this is, and actually, I've been out since 2009. So I, I served from 2005 to 2009. Um, and so it's been a little bit, like 12, 13 years since I've been out of the Marine Corps. And it was a pretty, pretty rocky transition in the beginning. I'm not gonna lie, it's, it was really rough. Uh, but I was able to, you know, grow from all my experiences. I mean, I got it. I got my degree. Um, uh, finally bought a home. Uh, so I'm actually becoming stable now. Uh, and the counties helped me do that. Uh, this to be, I'm going to throw something out there. <laughs> this is, I've been here a little over three years. This is the longest job I've had since leaving the military. So, I mean, that's, I think that's a big accomplishment for me. And, you know, I, I was, I'm able to find a home here. I have the unique experience of being the one of the producers on this show and getting to see the other veterans interviews and that's been really cool to see that and it's made me feel a greater part of the team and to see that kinship and the, and you know I don't I don't really have to know much about them but when they say oh I was in the navy I'm like shipmate what's up you know it's been cool if I were to say to any veteran out there that would ever want to consider working for the county what I would tell them is that it's a great community to be a part of, much similar to what you were on active duty. And if you're ever looking for kind of like that family brotherhood type of, of work environment, the county of Kern is, is one that resonates with that as well. We care. We care about our job, we care about our communities, and we simply just are here to do our part. Just working for the county, it's almost like the military. It's it's the connectedness within all organizations under the county. It's seamless, it's transitional, it's fantastic. It's a great place to call home. Part of, I think, helping not just your community, but your country. I'm sure the more you serve, uh, the more you're, you're helping people. Veterans Day. Showing veterans appreciation um, I, I can say that the times that I've been in the Veterans Day Parade and ridden on the float, it's really touching to see little kids. Go to the parade, my kids are usually in it too, and it's, it's just a big day. It's just for people to remember. Memorialize veterans and everybody who gave something, a part of themselves, in order for our country to be free. Honoring people who signed on a dotted line, um, they gave up time out of their life that they'll never get back. and. They were willing to do that all for one common, common cause, and that's to serve our country and defend it. I definitely know that I stand on the shoulders of veterans who did way more than I did. You know, um, I just like to just to remember 
you know, those that are gone and those that are still serving and are still here. And um, it is definitely an important day to to be thankful and to and to be, you know, to remember those that uh, definitely are uh, in our minds and hearts. You know. Veterans Day is a day. <clears throat> to just give thanks and honor everyone who served, past, present, and future, and uh, you know, just enjoy our veterans and just be thankful that you know, there are people out there that really do care about this country. When I think of Veterans Day, what it means to me is, uh, you know, I just did one four-year enlistment and everything was fine. A lot of people, no matter what branch they go into, they sign a blank check up to and payable to their life, to the, to the United States. Every veteran gives something, and some veterans give everything. And that does it for us on this week's Around Kern County. We'd like to thank all of our veterans for their outstanding service. Also, if you're a veteran looking for a second act, we'd love for you to join our workforce. To apply and for all other veteran service department resources, please visit our website, kerncounty.com. Thanks for watching and we'll see you right back here next week.